Hey guys, welcome to ASP.NET MVC 5, part 5. I'm Ripon Dutta. Today I'm gonna discuss about entity framework with database first. So, let's get started. Alright, first of all I need to create a new project. Go to the Visual Studio, then new project. Let's say entity framework database first click OK by default it is selected MVC then OK then Visual Studio will create a project alright so you can see our project is ready now first I want to create my database so go to the Visual Studio uh, I mean a school server then you can create new database let's say my database name is Acer 14 okay so our database is created now I want to create a new table let's say ID integer and ID is the primary key then let's say first name and Barker 50 last name and Barker 50 or you can use middle name then um what then let's say address and Barker 300 then salary decimal like say 16 to decimal point email this is n barker 50 ok so save the table name as employee all right so now go to the visual studio then first of all i want to create i want to add edu.net um data model so add new item go to the data and you can see edu.net entity data model let's say this is our employee model click ok I mean add generate from database next new connection my server name is Ripon user id password now select the database the database is acer14 test the connection succeeded ok so in this case I am using employee context yes include sensitive data in the connection string now you can see the table which I already created so employee table then you can say employee model and finish
all right now you can see our model is created by entity framework so you can see one thing this is our employee model so in the employee model it is created our employee class you can see this is our employee class so ID first name last name middle name address salary uh, in this case null able that means I used this column salary field it is null able allow null so that's why it is added null below because this is decimal so now I want to show you the our context employee model context you can see employee context which is inherited the DB context which is entity framework and we can use our employees using this DB set so now our database and model are ready now we have to create our controller so let's create the controller right click in the controllers add controller in this case I'm going to use MVC5 controller empty or you can use controller with read write actions then if you use this um, controller in the case MVC will create read write actions like index create edit delete so uh, I'm going to use MT1 so add give the controller name employee then add okay you can see this is our employee controller so employee controller and it is inherited the controller and this is the convention of writing controller controller name followed by controller so first I need to add our context which is employee context equal DB then so in this case now I want to create our action let's say action result index so in the index we will return the view with our existing data which is employees to list that means whenever index action is called it will return the employees as a list alright so what we need to do is we need to create the view so first run the project alright so we need to add our controller which is employee now you can see yep because of we don't have any view index view so first we have to create index view so in the action result in the action index action right click and click add new I mean add view you can see by default it is index then we have to select list because we will show the list of employees in the index space or index view our model class is employee and data context is employee context click add then employee I mean MVC will create the index view so we have to wait few seconds alright you can see this is our view 
and here we have list of employee you can see I enumerable that means I list which is a list all right so our index view is created now we can run this in this case I'm going to use control F5 that means which is a start without debugging so I'm selecting this one we don't need to this yep now you can see we have our index view you can see this is our index view so index is default action that's why we if we don't mention this that means MVC will recognize that this is index view so if we click the create but we don't have any create view then it will give you an error so what we need to do is we have to create our create uh, action and create views so first I want to write create action which will return the view we can mention that with HTTP get because this is our whenever you click that means in this case if I click this create new that means this is get HTTP get so whenever we post whenever we send back the view with data I mean with model or you can click the submit button on the time it will be HTTP post action result create whenever we are posting back a view we will send an employee object so this is our HTTP post so it will return oops, view with employee make this simple so if we first we need to check model state is valid or not if it is valid then it will come here otherwise it will simply return the view with that model if it is valid then what we need to do is we need to save the employee so db.employees.add which is employee then we need to return this I mean we need to redirect to action in any action you can redirect in this case I'm going to redirect to index all right so control f5 or debug start without debugging so create new oh I see we have to create our create view so right click add view create you can see there are template create template model class employee then add all right this is our create view you can see in the employee folder under the views there is now create CSTML okay now we can run control F5 you can simply go to the employee then click create new now 
in this case it is taking one ID let's say Ripon I don't have any middle name address 1000 North Port Street salary let's say all right create it is now redirected to index oops our um model is not I mean our database is not working because of oh I see so after adding to the model into the entity framework we have to add one we have to apply one more action which is save changes now we can create new model one create oops because we have to start this program again control F5 on the time it will build all right create new ID let's say 10 first name fourth street then create all right it is now created now we can see into the database right click into employee select rows yes now you can see our database I mean our model is saved into the database using entity framework now you can apply your edit action detailed section and delete action as well so if you don't know how to edit delete, uh, detail and delete action you can look um, I have another tutorial uh, which is part 3 where I have shown you all these things in details so you can learn from that tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and at least you learned how to um, code um, using entity framework into MVC5 I mean in the MVC5 so in the next tutorial I will show you um, entity framework code first that means in this case you will create the model first then uh, by using entity framework you will create the database from the model thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any question or if you have any difficulty with this tutorial and if you don't get anything you can write into into the comment box so I will try to answer you as soon as possible and see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye